Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are going to be doing a permanent color on my natural client. As you can see, she is a level three, maybe four. So we'll be using um, Pravana as the color line. And I am using the color 7.40 or 7cc. And I am using a 20 volume, which I did about 75% 20 volume, 25% 30 volume. Now, I do not recommend trying professional color at home. This is definitely something that I recommend going to a professional for. Um, hair color is something that you do not want to play around with, especially permanent hair color. Um, and now, for me, whenever I'm mixing my colors, I always use a scale because that's very important in regards to your outcome. It's really going to depict your outcome in its entirety. If it's mixed properly to manufacture specifications, then you definitely will have a better outcome than if you just eyeball it. Now, what I'm doing is just going through and, of course, mixing my color together to get started on her hair. Um, I like to start by sectioning the hair and then I basically start from the ends and I will do the ends up to about maybe a quarter of an inch to the mid, excuse me, to the root on the entire head. Um, this is a common mistake that a lot of people make where they start at the root and then they get something what, that we call hot roots because the roots have lifted way beyond where you needed them to be because there is a heat zone at the root level. Um, everything that I'm talking about right now is more on a professional term, but this is something that happens a lot, especially with stylists who are not familiar with hair coloring and, you know, how it should be done. You typically want to save the roots for last when you are doing a permanent hair color because that root area has its own heat zone and it actually makes whatever volume you're using an, actually a, a volume ahead. Okay, so that's important. Now you guys see the finished color. Um, I did a, a fast paced video on purpose, but you guys get to see like, the finished product where she had an auburn, which is exactly what we were going for. And I also wanted you guys to take note that her curl pattern is still intact. Okay. Permanent color can be damaging to the curl pattern in regards to um, it can be over processed. It can uh, break the bond where the hair texture changes. It can do so many different things. But I just wanted you guys to see how her curl pattern is still intact. Her hair looks amazing. Um, I did shampoo her at the end with our Moisture ELT shampoo and conditioner, which is very important whenever you are dealing with color. So I made sure to add moisture into her hair. And then I used a little bit of our Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum, which is going to serve as our heat protectant and also a glossifier for our silk press. So I'm just going through and using my H2 Pro Titanium Iron to flat iron or silk press her or thermal style her, whichever word you want to use. And I am doing slightly larger sections, which are about maybe a, a quarter to a half inch of a section. Um, she does have fine textured hair, so you do want to keep that in mind when you are doing your color. The texture of the hair does also play a very large part in the outcome of the color and the state of the hair when you're done with the color. Um, now, I do not do extremely high lift colors all in one sitting. I'm one of those people where I prefer to only do a two process color in one day um, because it's just I know what it does to the hair and sometimes you can go overboard. Now, I am giving her a trim, which is very important, especially when you're doing any type of color service. You do want to make sure that you clean that hair up, that you make it as healthy or put it in as healthy a state as possible for longevity and success of that color um, in regards to your client. Remember, she is going to be the one taking care of this at home. And if she does not have all the tools needed or the hair was not left in a healthy state from the beginning, this is going to be what we call a bad story later on. And then you're going to have the conversation, that, oh, I got a hair color and it messed up my hair. So I like to make sure that I do my absolute best, especially on my color clients, that I ensure that I give them the keys to success for at-home use or at-home care. And also when in the salon, when they are leaving, they are leaving with a clean slate to the best of my ability. Now, for her trim, we only had to clean up about less than an inch, which was actually really good. 
And if you guys can tell, her hair is nice and shiny. It lays. It's nice and airy and movable. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video and also comment down below how you thought the color came out. If you like the color, um, if you have this color now, you want a new color, whatever the case may be, please just comment down below and just tell us what you think. Now, in respects to the client's aftercare, um, whenever I have a client who gets any type of reds or coppers, I always recommend that they get a red or copper color shampoo. Um, those are color treated shampoos. That is just to help keep the vibrancy. Um, reds and coppers do fade first. They are actually the ones to last the least amount of time compared to many other colors. Um, and then I also recommended that she got our Moisture ELT shampoo and conditioner. This is going to help with the moisture content. It's going to keep the hair nice and hydrated. The worst thing or the one thing that happens a lot with clients that get color is they think that once the color grows out or it's growing, that means that that color doesn't exist. Or if you cover it up, it doesn't exist. And then that hair begins to break because you didn't actually do what was needed. That hair is still color treated. So you want to make sure that you are definitely doing your aftercare at home. And then I want you guys to just see how beautiful her layers are, how silky her hair is, and how amazing this color came out. Yes, I'm really, really happy. And she was extremely happy. But I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Like I said, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. And also, if you're not following me on IG, please do by going to Elite Hair Care USA on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.